So here's my homemade incubator. Um, it's really cheap to make. It was only $30 to make. Actually even under $30. So let's start on the top here. I cut a hole in the lid and applied plexiglass and just sealed it inside. You can see my probe right there. Um, so I got my actual, it's a styrofoam cooler that I got. I took it from the back of PetSmart or any Petco. Um, their plants come in this and their fish come in this so they keep it nice and warm or cool whatever it may be um, you can buy them for maybe five six bucks which isn't bad at all um, as you can see I have a fan in the back right here it's an old computer fan I took um, all it has a wire right here that um, attaches to an AC adapter which goes into the wall which turns it on um, you, I found out the hard way that you don't have to use an AC adapter because I still needed, needed the AC adapter that I cut. You're just going to cut off the end if you have an old one. Um, I found out the hard way and that you can actually just take this computer fan wire and attach it to a battery. Um, it would have to be a 9 volt battery. Those small ones that have the two little things sticking out of the end. And it worked just fine. Um, other than that, uh, you could do my way which I found out the hard way, which still works really good, or the other way because if you do my way, you have longer cord, and you can apply a switch, which I have right here. Um, all you gotta do is just split one of these two wires and just add those two wires in it, intertwine them, um, and it works perfectly. Um, so on the inside, I have my probe, you can see, and it's reading um, 73.4. I have nothing in there because I'm just testing it out. You should always test it before you have eggs. I'll just open it up. So that's the inside. There's nothing in there. I have a rack to put the eggs on, which I don't have in there yet because there's no need. Um, but what I did here is I took a knife and I just like slid it so this is flush so it stays down so that no air escapes. Um, this is going to be used for crested gecko eggs. So those need to be housed around room temperature. So that's only 75. Um, degrees a little maybe a little higher so my house right now is around there and the fan is perfect because it just turns on it cools everything down if it's still a little bit too hot I also have a heating pad right here on a metal uh, not metal a uh, piece of wood that I applied it to and that's only a 4 watt so it doesn't get really hot you can go to 8 watts because 4 watts doesn't even do much I kind of screwed up there but if it gets a little too cold, I'll put that in there and that should heat everything up perfectly. Um, but other than that, I'm really impressed with this setup because it cost me very little and it should work perfectly fine for crusty gecko eggs, but you can use it for any reptile eggs. Just gotta apply a little heat, so that's when the heat pad comes in. I'm saying an 8, volt, uh, eight watt sorry, heating pad would work perfect. This one's Exoterra. Um, it's more like a flex watt mat. Um, the Zoomed ones aren't really that um, thin, so I don't know, it's just preference, I guess. But other than that, that's good. I don't have a humidifier gauge in there yet. I think I might put one in there just to see how it is. Or I'll just keep it normal, and then when I can tell by the Mickey light or whatever I use as a incubation medium, if it gets too uh, dry, then I'll switch it up. But other than that, that's my incubator. I'm really impressed with it. It's given me good reading so far. So, And it's fun to build. I had a lot of fun building it because you're just messing around with wires and cutting stuff and making a mess. So it's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just comment or um, whatever you want to do. I guess inbox me or whatever. But thanks for watching.